Hello and welcome back to the Technical FX YouTube channel. It's a pleasure to have you guys here. And in this video, I am going to be talking about liquidity. It is a tutorial. This is part one. And this has been a very highly requested video. And this is a concept which originated from ICT. Um, there are many ways to use liquidity in the market. However, I specifically use equal highs and equal lows, which I will give you an insight into this video. So I use the concept of equal highs and equal lows as a place where people put their stops and they get attacked before the market moves in the intended direction. Now this will become clearer in this tutorial and further videos released on this topic. Um, I'm sure there has been many times where you've entered a trade, you get stopped out for it to then head in your direction. Now I'm sure the majority of you guys watching this have had that happen. This used to happen to me all the time um, until I incorporated equal highs and equal lows into my trading. So when I trade, I'm always waiting for this to happen before I look to take a trade, okay? Um, I'm always waiting for liquidity, liquidity to be taken before taking a trade. If there is no liquidity taken, then I will not take the trade. Um, in this video, I'll be sharing the concept with you, how I personally use it. There'll be, there may be people that use it in a different, um, different way, and that's fine, but this is my personal way of using these concepts. There's other types of liquidity, um, but I don't use those types of liquidity. I keep my trading very simple, um, and that's what you're gonna see here. So as I said, this video has been requested so many times um, I thought I would bring you guys part one this week. So first of all, we have gotta be taking a look at equal highs. So this is a level in the market where people will see a double top or a resistance where people will enter a short trade. So you can see here, I've got a couple of diagrams which I'm gonna go over. This here is the area of double top or resistance where people will look to take short trades. Okay, you've got the same here and over here as well. This is just a different type of uh, drawing example, which is another way that it can form in the market. It's just by using a pullback that happened in this impulsive leg to the downside. Uh, you can also have highs that form like this, or you could have highs that form during the pullback. Okay, and it's at these areas where people look at, okay, we've got a double top or we've got a resistance and people look to take a short trade. After entering the short trade, the market will start to head in their intended direction, um, which gives the trader hope that the market is going um, in their direction before we see one more push higher, and then it continues in the intended direction. So what I mean by that is here we have the double top, okay? And you start to see the market head in the intended direction, okay? Which tr tricks the trader into thinking that this is a good trade, the trade's gonna continue until we then see the market quickly push to the upside, which takes their stop out. So just taking a look at an example, say we had a double top right here and we had a nice bearish engulfing. Somebody takes a short position, uh, putting their stop loss just above the two highs, which is the equal highs, the double top, the resistance. People will look to take a trade like this. The market will start off um, pushing to the downside, giving them hope and excitement that the trade's gonna play out, only for the market to then push to the upside and hit their stop loss, okay? After hitting their stop loss, the market will then push to the downside. Or when the market takes out the highs, it can also lead traders to think that there has been a break bullish, which leads them to buy. Then they are wrong on the wrong side of the market twice. What do I mean by that? Well, here we have a resistance. People see breaks of resistance as a breakout and they could maybe look to take a buying opportunity here. If you was to look to take a buying opportunity here, what's gonna happen? You're gonna be wrong twice. You was wrong on the sell because you got stopped out because you traded at liquidity or and you look to take the buy on the breakout which then we saw the continuation move lower, okay? So instead of being this, I look for equal highs to form in a bearish market. 
I wait for them to get run above before I look at taking a sell trade, which is this middle draw in here. So when I'm analyzing the market, I'm looking for this to form. I'm then waiting for the market to run higher to take these highs out. And then here is where I'm looking at taking sell positions to the downside. Now remember, uh, you need to of course incorporate all your market structure and your areas of interest and everything like that. This video here is purely and simply just uh, part one of um, multiple tutorials that I wanna bring to the channel here, giving you guys an insight into liquidity and equal highs and equal lows. So I wait for price to take this rally to the upside where I then look to take a short position after taking out the stop losses and then I look for that continuation move lower. Now as I said, equal highs can be used in a bullish market. However, that is for another video. Hopefully in this series, if you guys enjoy this video, please do give us a like, comment and subscribe and let me know whether you wanna see more videos on liquidity. So the other option is to also see equal highs. However, what we see is we see the pull, a pullback within this impulsive leg to the downside. So we have the market push down, pulls back, puts in a high. We then see the market push lower. Price comes back up into this high, generating that fake double top, generating that fake resistance. The market moves off, giving that hope and excitement to short, short, short sellers before we see the market push higher one more time. This is where I would be looking at taking a trade after the market has taken out those stop losses right here, okay? And that's as simple as it is. There is, as I've said, other types of liquidity. However, I keep my trading as simple as possible. So where would I be looking at taking a trade? I'm looking at taking a trade here, a short trade here, after the market has already taken out stops. So this is where I would be looking at taking a trade. And on this example over here, it would again be after we've seen the market take out these stops, I would be looking at taking a trade like this. Okay, so I'm waiting for the market to take out these equal highs in a bearish market for sales. And of course, it's the opposite for a bullish market, but I am gonna run over it with you guys because I want you guys to take this tutorial, go into the charts yourself, and then I'm gonna come back with another video on this channel, of course, giving, showing you guys this happening in the live market, okay? This video here is just a tutorial. This is part one. Let me know down below if you wanna see further videos on this. So equal lows, this is a level in the market where people see a double bottom or support where people enter a long trade. So over here, we have a bullish market, higher low and higher high. We have the market create a double bottom right here. And this is where we would see people be taking buy trades, okay? Off of the area of support, people taking buy trades to the upside before the market does what? The market pushes lower, taking them out, and then heads off in the intended direction. So after entering the long trade, the market will start to head in their direction, as I mentioned. And this, the trader, this gives the trader hope, okay, that the market is going in their direction. Before we see that push lower, one more time, and then it continues in the intended direction, leaving the trader um, confused as to what's happening because when the market takes out the lows, it can also lead people to think that the market's broken bearish, which leads them to sell, which of course would look like this. And what's gonna happen if they look to sell on the breakout? They're also gonna get stopped out, right? The market's broken these lows, and then they look to take a sell on the retest. However, the market just blows straight through. Okay, of course, as I preach and teach in my videos here on YouTube, you always wanna be going with the market structure anyway. So from what I teach, you wouldn't wanna be looking at taking this trade, but I'm just giving you an example of what people do do um, in the market um, around these areas. Of course, double bottom is a support. People look to buy from those. However, that is where liquidity will rest and that is what will be attacked before the market looks to take its um, true move in the intended direction. So in a uh, bullish market, I'm looking for equal lows to form. I will wait for them to get taken out. So here you can see uh, we've got one low, we've got two lows. I will wait for this move lower and then I'm looking at taking a buy trade to the upside, which will look something like this. Okay, so I'm waiting for those stops to be attacked and then I'm looking to take a buy trade. 
equal lows can be used in a in a bullish market sorry um in a bearish equal equal lows sorry it's meant to say equal lows can be used in a bearish market however that is for another video right now i'm talking about equal highs to be used for sales and equal lows to be used for buys okay um i will of course hopefully give you guys another video where i will discuss using equal lows in a bearish market um, but right now we're just looking at uh, continuation moves um, you've also got the other option of where the market shows that one push to the upside but during that push you also get that small pullback and price can form equal lows with that pullback as you can see here what's this generating this is building support which of course entice, entices buyers right here okay enticing buyers there price then takes out their stop and this is where i would be looking to take a buying opportunity after after we've seen price take out their stops that's where i would be looking for buying opportunities and this is how i use okay equal lows in a bullish market and equal highs in a bearish market i'm waiting for these to be taken out if price fails to take out these lows like say for example we saw something like this okay and price did not take out these lows then i'm not interested i always want to be seeing liquidity swept before i'm looking for a trade and remember, of course, market structure always comes first. Higher low to higher high. In that area is where you're looking for your liquidity to form. Wait for it to be swept. And that's when you're looking for the trade. As I'm sure so many of you guys have taken a trade here on a double bottom. Looking for the market to continue to the upside. You get stopped out. And then the market heads in your direction. It's so frustrating. And this is the reason why. Because stop losses are residing below equal lows and stop losses are also residing above equal highs as i shared with you guys over here okay equal highs stop losses are above these areas which get attacked before the true move happens all right so this is your very very simple tutorial about um equal highs and equal lows i do hope that you guys have enjoyed this video do leave a like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments if this has been helpful to you and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video Take care. Bye-bye.